Good morning guys, welcome to another Adriatic adventure. In the first few episodes we were fishing on the surface with top waters, but in this one we're going the exactly opposite. We're going deep down and dirty, fishing far offshore for scorpion fish in 80, 90, 100 meters depth. of the day ah, it's a small one. <coughs> Woo. first drop of the day immediately a take on this 180 gram swim squid in Chiku it's a it's not a giant but a great start to the day so our first stop produced a scorpion fish immediately. We found another little indention on the bottom, so we're having a second go. Uh, we're way offshore in the open sea, so right over there is Italy. There's nothing between us and Italy, so we're really far offshore. But the weather is nice, it, it, it's quite calm, and it should be a great day of fishing ahead of. Stop second fish <laughs> today will be amazing. Second stop of the day, second scorpion fish. Just starting, we're just starting. So, today, our guide, our guru, is my buddy uh, Mate Tikulin from Puglian. So, Mate, what's the secret in finding this fish so quickly? Uh, good uh, fish finder and a uh, lot of time uh, spent in the sea. Okay, so what are we looking for on the bottom? Uh, just a few rock spots and uh, that's it, some small fish about that and uh, you try and uh, sometimes you catch, sometimes you don't catch, that's it, So no secret. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's not that easy, I've tried and it's not working as it's working with you, but you know, uh, so, so we're just looking small rocks, small debris, small changes in depth, any any sort of bottom uh, structure, and <laughs> these beautiful fish are just holding tight to structure. So second stop of the day, second fish, Mate, you're the king. Yes. And all caught on the water of camera. Mate, this fish is not small, right? Uh, it's nice size. It's a really nice size. So I can't thank you enough for you know sharing this uh, knowledge that you have, this vast knowledge of this uh, little tiny positions and we just started and we just started it's just uh, you know nine, what? In the morning. Nine, in, nine in the morning so check this fish out excellent thank you. wow Let's try to 
see what exactly are we fishing down there. So we have the Water Wolf 2.0 camera rigged 1.5 meter above the swim squid in Chico. We're on a good spot, so let's see what are we fishing for. So jigging technique for scorpion fish is you let the inchiku drop all the way to bottom. Then as soon as you hit the bottom, you make three or four stronger jumps just to call any scorpion fish in the area, just to make your bait visible. Then she comes and then you make a pause and leave the inchiku right on the bottom. Have some bites already, but it's a smaller fish. <laughs> Here we go! Yeah, yeah. Oh. So she ate it off the bottom. So three, four jigs, let it rest on the bottom, and as you can see, scorpion fish is on. I think this is a nice one. Oh. You can see the deep action of the rod. So slow jigging rods have deep action. The SG10 jigging reel works great. Our line is uh, 25 pounds, so not too uh, thick line. So you don't get a lot of resistance of the sea. So we have another one. I think it's a good one. Wow. Bam! Mate, kaboom, 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 kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a rather small one, we will let her go because there's a good chance in a year or two we'll catch her far bigger because they usually stick to the same area. So swim squid in Chiku will catch fish with the, with, uh, the trailer that comes uh, pre-rigged but you can also add some, some uh, real squid to add to the taste. So this one obviously thought it's a good meal. Boing! <laughs> Swim speed in Chico fishing is full of surprises. This is, I think, fifth or sixth specimen of fish we've caught on it. So we caught scorpion fish, uh, we've caught snapper, we've caught uh, weaver fish, and now this beautiful John Dory. So you'll never know what will eat that crazy bait. So octopus as well, right? So crazy, crazy day on the sea. So these fish are not too big, so we will let them go and try to catch them bigger in a year or two, right? Next year. Next year. One okay. kilo bigger. Don't do this at home. <laughs> So 
Mate, for how long have you been fishing for scorpion fish in these areas? Uh, for maybe four or five years. Four or five years? Yes. So what's you know, the biggest challenge for you in catching these scorpion fish? Uh, the biggest challenge is to find a good micro spot. Micro spot. So it's quite technical, right? Technical, yeah. You need a good uh, fish finder with a good uh, side view, which is helpful for you. Okay, yeah. I use Garmin okay. with the uh, GT51. Okay. Transducer and. Uh, so, that's it. yeah, okay. So, how many spots are you rotating? Uh, maybe. Approximately. 400. 400 spots. <laughs> uh, yes, some spot uh, I go, then two years I don't go on that spot. Yeah. So you are waiting to fish to come. To come Small yeah. fish you release, so you always have something to catch for lunch. For but it's always a good idea to find a fresh spot, spot no one has found before, right? When you find a new spot, then uh, you stay there for a few hours, yeah. catching one after another one. Yeah, awesome. So we'll just quickly go through the gear which we used, of course. Uh, our uh, main bait was the Savage Gear Swim Squid 180 gram. So the cool thing about this in Chiku is that it has a built-in rattle, uh, which is quite important, right? Yes, to, yes. to noise. The noise is quite important to call the scorpion fish from you know uh, shorter or longer distance. What do you think? How far will a scorpion fish swim to the bait? I don't know. Maybe. 20 meters, 20, 20 meters. 30 meters maybe, yeah. depends how much you stay there. Yeah, and then also there's the grooves on the bottom which create air bubbles as it goes down. It's but yes, helpful. it's also helpful for air bubbles for, you know, for vibration. Yeah, and we were tipping the uh, our baits mostly with uh, squid, which of course adds scent and makes the scorpion fish and other fish hold on to the, to the bait longer. It's always better when it smells something. When something smells, right? Because you you invest so much time in getting you know so far offshore, so you want to you know uh, to raise your odds, uh, you know. Uh, Spend time fishing, yes, catching fish, not, catching yes. fish. Yeah, not just. But also, uh, what we learned today by using the water wolf was that it also helps with not snagging on the bottom when you have like uh, flesh yes, on the yes, hooks. Yes. Uh, it, it helps not to snag a lure too much. O of course, uh, the hooks on this bait are quite good, right? They are the right size, yes, not depends. too small, it's right? It's not too small, it's a uh, medium size. If you maybe like to catch uh, some bigger 5-6 kilo Dentex or some uh, snappers, Snapper, yeah. then it will be a little bit bigger, better one. But for a scorpion fish, this is perfect. Yeah, and uh, by using water wolf today, huh? what an amazing... You know, I don't go without that anymore. Fishing. Yeah, we used the water wolf today and first thing that was like really interesting to me was how good you can see at 70, 80 meters deep. I mean, yes, it's, it's, I mean, amazing. Amazing. And also how scorpion fish will not like always aggressively eat in Chiku. They will, you know, inspect it a little bit, swim around, you know, some will eat aggressively. And also a very interesting thing it was, at least to me, was that you cannot really feel all the bites. Sometimes they just, you know, take the lure sometimes and don't move. Sometimes you feel, sometimes she just suck in the all in Chico and, and that's doesn't it. move. You don't just, yeah. feel nothing, you just pull. That's why you need to pull every time like you catch. Yeah, I, I really think that the footage we, we saw today on the Water Wolf was, I think, was you know, game changing Excellent. with yes, yes. understanding of what happens and what we're fishing. So And how is the bottom? Yeah. So we used SG2, SGS2 and SGS6 uh, slow jigging 120 and 150 gram rod, SGS10 jigging reel, awesome, and we used uh, 27 pound silencer uh, 8 strand band and for the leader uh, 0.60 uh, super hard flow carbons. Mate, thank you again. Thank you. Awesome day and we'll see you next in the time. next Adriatic Adventure, yes. right?